accounting method, I highly, highly recommend keeping that on accrual unless you have some, some reason to do otherwise. Because when you're thinking about the accounting method, you can't just choose to be in a cash-based method by just toggling this thing over. What really happens is you're on a cash-based method. This is a, a flow chart. Whether or not you're using forms that are accrual-based or cash-based. So for the customer cycle, for example, uh, if you just enter a deposit form and record the sales when you get the deposit, you are on a cash-based system even though you have the capacity to enter accrual transactions. If you're using a create sales receipts form, that's like the form used at a cash register. You are on a cash based system, even if you've toggled over to the accrual thing. It's only if you enter invoices that you've now switched over to kind of an accrual system. So the fact that you're using invoices means that you're doing something in an accrual system. If you toggle over to a cash based system and try to use an invoice, then you would think the system's not going to not going to actually record the revenue until you receive the payment which isn't typically what you would want to have happened you would want it to record it if you're using an invoice when you record the invoice so so if you're thinking about toggling that over or or switching this to cash you probably want to make sure that you're clearing that with an accountant or cpa as to why you would be doing that by default i would suggest accrual